Greetings, one and all. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Happy Mario Day. We're playing a Mario game today. It's called Pacific Drive. It has nothing to do with Mario. Uh, and we're going to try to finish it up. And then maybe I'll switch over to something else. I don't know. I don't know how much time we have left on this game, but it's it's been an interesting time. I was trying to talk to uh, Dan about this game. Yesterday, we did some recording. And it's so weird. Like, I don't know how better to describe it than it's weird. Like... So, whoa, my sensitivity is way high. No, is that just normal? Am I just crazy? Feels weird. Maybe it just took a second. Um, did the Stranger Paradise server destroy? They did, they did. Yeah, we had we had backup plans in case they were down again, but they, they cooperated. They cooperated. Um, all right, what do we got? We got a bunch of shit. Pause that all of that. Um, don't need that, don't need that. Uh, my little lantern. How's our vehicle? It's pretty damaged. I didn't repair. I think, I think we just wrapped up stream last time. So let's fix up our car, chat. We gotta turn on the tunes. I kind of want to turn on non-streamer safe mode, chat. Just see what, see what's actually in the game. Also, yeah, so we talked about the DLC stuff. Apparently, when I got it, I thought I got the same one, the, like Dan and I were discussing about it. Apparently, I didn't get the DLC. So I have the DNC installed now. Um, so I, I need to go get myself a, a gun and uh, like I found the pilgrim weapon. But I did that, I did that all off camera. I was like, I think that's why I'm not getting stuff. And it turns out that was why. Um, I think we, I think we're planning on doing DLC. I think we're enjoying it. This is trash. Good, good. Any other, anything else need to get replaced? The auto park? Well, the auto park is fine. It doesn't get hurt. I don't need to replace that. That's silly. Turbine and that are both broken. Got the resource radar. No, that's right. I forgot we made that. Car looks like the Ghostbusters car. Yeah, we got we got some of the decals on. I want to I want to get these like the these doors we have. They're Olympium, which is like the highest quality I can get, and all the rest is armored stuff. So I want to wait until we have armored stuff to put on the decals or the uh, the proper Olympium stuff. I guess I don't really care about getting other recipes. I think I've gotten everything that I wanted.
I guess the parts locker could be interesting. I need a circuit board for that. Convenient. <laughs> they gave you so much storage for no fucking reason. Like, this one thing holds everything. Those are all in pretty good shape. This one's a little dinged up. Blowtorch? No. like good on repairs bumper actually could use a little bit of love Needed Olympium. I remember that's what we were kind of gunning for. So I'm curious. I think that might be the end of the game. It is called the end of the road. Will we... Will we never get to fully upgrade our vehicle? Uh, we need a little bit of gas. We don't have the omega sized tank on the roof anymore. That's okay though.
You know, I'm, I am going to fix that broken windshield. It is annoying. Assuming you're the only human you get to see, yeah. We we talk to these the, these three folks on the radio, and they're kind of like the main driving plot and story of the game, but we haven't seen any of them. Um, let's go. You do maybe boom boom. Actually, this is probably your best bet. Battery sapping. Eerie darkness, concussive blasts. It's got Olympium there, so let's just go there. so bright. You know what? I'm 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 doing it. I I'm I'm curious enough. Here's some DMCA. This is apparently a DMCA song. There's nothing in the back. That's fine. We're here to enjoy the music together. And if the VOD gets muted, oh well. That's an old classic song, yeah. Uh, just straight line. Okay. I got caught up in a dream. Can someone tell me what it means to live? Oh, 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 Somehow it's not making sense. Living between the distress. I'm making a life, but I also am taking a home. The 
tracks are jumping on their own now The rain is asking if I know how much it hurts When the earth agrees But we won't know I was curious if I could scan those Why are you blinking? Right headlight. Something's wrong with the right headlight. Uh, damn, it's Craig. Thank you for 21 months. Thank you, thank you. I was thinking maybe it was... You know, maybe it's... Or, well, the uh, headlights. I was like, maybe it's the headlights are on that are fucking with the headlights. That makes no sense, Dan. a new song. Set with a sleepy newborn on your chest in the middle of the night, wanted to say thank you for the supply of outstanding content, good vibes, and the VOD mines. Dungeon Dragons is excellent. How goes Pacific Rim? <laughs> Did I say Pacific Rim in this uh, the, the the stream title again? I've definitely I've done that in the past. No, I'm good. Okay, <laughs> I was like, uh oh. You're just jump. No, I've done. I've literally done it almost every time, Craig. You're so good. I was just like, oh, did I fuck up the title again? Um, it's pretty good. It's so unique and interesting. Like, I don't think I'll ever play a game like this again because it's so niche and like bizarre. Um, I don't know. It, it just it feels like a very unique idea. I, I'm not a hundred percent that they nailed it. Like, uh, I, I've, I've expressed a lot of frustrations at the game where there's like really weird pacing with it. Um, a lot of the story that's getting conveyed is over these voice uh, conversations that you're hearing on the radio. And they happen at the most stressful driving moments where like, if you've ever driven in like a storm and you've had someone trying to talk to you or been in a phone call or something, it's impossible to actually take in anything they're saying because you're focused on the road and driving like so i lo i lost a lot of story moments because of that um it's also just like you play the first five hours of this game and you and you've it's kind of like you've seen almost everything in the game there there's like a few like new surprises with some of the like extreme conditions and stuff like that that come up but most of it is just like Go gather resources in a different place and only like maybe you know 10 or 15 hours in do you have to start actually like looking for specific resources um and it, it's it's interesting like 
the upgrade tree feels like it wasn't taken into account for like I think they could have put more upgrades in even if they weren't as good just to give you something to do in between like zone one and two I don't know it is a weird weird pacing of the game the I, I like the upgrade trees I think it could have used a lot more I think if there were more hostile anomalies that would have benefited the game a lot because everything you do to your car is defensive which is totally fine and like I think that can totally work as you know you're just defending yourself against these weird hazards um but there's only like so much you can upgrade to your car and a lot of it doesn't feel really worth doing um so maybe maybe more like um more hostile hazards maybe maybe stuff that actually like physically comes and attacks you you know and you could put like turrets or something on your car i don't know like just another a, another way to upgrade your car because it feels like once you upgrade your car like a little bit in the game you're like i'm set i don't need to replace anything Oh, where am I going? Inventory management is kind of a pain. Yeah, I do. I'm okay with the inventory management, actually, because they give you so many access of, like, upgrading the storage in your car and on your person. Um... You do, there is definitely like a lot of running back and forth because you're like, oh, I, uh, oh, we're actually fucked. Uh, shit, this is gonna go really bad. Okay, hang on, I can't, I can't talk. <laughs> So there's that siren that plays and that signifies get the fuck out of the zone because you see there's this big old circle that's closing around us and you just take damage over time in that circle and it gets worse. We're going a little off-roading. God, no. I do... I. I'm happy we got the puncture-proof tires, but boy, do they control terribly. Making sure there's no resource I could grab real quick. Could you know there's a paint locker and a decal locker too? Yeah. Paint lock. Paint. There's no reason the paint locker couldn't just be like the other lockers that hold infinite stuff. Hi, Saren. 
How are you, my friend? All right, we got to keep an eye out for Olympian veins, chat. That's the whole reason we're out here. They're these, they're these big tower looking things, but they'll have little flecks of purple on them. Wait, don't I, how do I, how do I do this resource thing? Maybe I need to assign it. This is fucking abductor territory. What oh, shit? I was just like, here's every paint. It's not. Close the door. Okay. So I maybe toggled. Hang on. I, I realize I have F as my headlights and this ability. Uh I think T was what it was before. Uh, you've been deep in this since it came out. You'll always agree with your critique. Yeah, one thing I will say about it, though, even though, like, there, it's kind of weird pacing and, like, it feels like there's... It, it needs more, like, you know, upgrade paths or something or whatever. I will say just driving the car and exploring is really fun. I just wish there was more to discover. Like, the actual loop is really satisfying. It just feels like you... Oh, um, you kind of get the whole loop pretty quickly.
I gotta be careful of that resource. Thing fucking saps my power. case we run into some more Olympium. I got caught up in a dream and I got caught up in a dream can someone tell me what it means to live in a dream and I got caught up in a dream somehow it's not making sense like between the distress I'm making a life but I also am taking a home the tracks are jumping on their own Dan Jones live? That's right. One of these times, I really want to just put my car right in the path of the can openers and just let it go to town. Just let it destroy the car. I just want to see how fast it destroys the car. Really just let it fuck it up, you know? It's kind of a bummer it's not there's no storm going because the storm recharges my battery. Real fast, so I can't be spamming that resource button. Haha, <laughs> suck it! No flat tires for me. Why did I spin? was like, what if spin? What if spin? some DMCA music. I turned off streamer safe mode because I want to hear the other musics. So if in the future you're watching and you're like, oh, why is this VOD muted? That's why. You probably won't hear this though because the music's playing. Here's the last stream of it. I want to know. I want to know what love is. Oh, time to leave. Oh, but a big truck. I mean, it might also just not mute the VOD. I mean, like, we, we played fucking Dave the Diver and Hot Pepper Tuna claimed that, and that was in the game. There's no streamer safe option for that shit. Dave the Diver's just like, fuck the streamer. Fuck him. See if I care. I'm Dave the Diver. Small indie team. We gotta go. Dan 
Dan's back on his hating Dave the Diver train again. I never got off. That's the secret. I always hate Dave the Diver. Perpetual stability. I see Olympium veins. That's what I like to see. Wasn't it made by a big company? Yeah, it was made by like a very well-funded company. Shit, push the wrong button again. I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember the specifics, but it was. It was definitely something I would not call an indie developer. The end of the road. We soon will finally see for ourselves what caused the mass hallucination and what Tobias and Alan died for, and whether it was all worth it. Uh. You yes. guys, are you guys seeing this? Yeah. Thank you for trusting me when you had every reason not to. Getting to this point together with you, it makes me feel like my old self again. It's been an honor to watch you work, Dr. Turner. Oh, they're getting sentimental. These gamma readings, are they real? I, I can't even begin to guess what could be outputting this much radiation. Some sort of energy reservoir, a massive fission reaction, or a, a portal. Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys giggling about Atlantis? If this thing really leads us to Atlantis, I'm turning in my PhD. God, if only Tobias were here to see it. I would have liked to hear his take on all this. For once. Oh. That's sweet. I was like, why can't I get in the car? Not my car. Do you know if you try to break into someone's car in real life, Chad, the E button doesn't pop up so you can't actually get in the car. All right, driver, you're almost to the threshold. Remember, Francis and I have got your back. Once you get that car to the well, we'll keep the gamma ray burst under control for as long as we can. Whatever happens, whatever state you find yourself in, the Octavice will be your safety net. Use it. Get back to us, you hear me? Ready when you are, driver. Yeah, but where's the Olympium? I was here to mine Olympium. I was promised Olympium. This looks good. This is neat. It's the bed of chaos. Godspeed, driver. Godspeed. I'm 07 ing. Uh, hey, Krendar. Did it work? What's the energy output? Damn it, Alan, I'm fine. Uh, light nearly blinded me. Can, can you read it? Uh, yeah, uh, let me see. Five, 500 kilojoules? Happy, what is this? The future. I call it limb waves. Uh, thank you so much for the raid, Krender. I think we're at the very end of Pacific Drive, in case anyone wants to avoid spoilers. But thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a good one. I was not expecting to be outside of my car. Where's my car?
Oh. Now what? Now it's like this is the tutorial. Coffee what? delivery. Uh, Alan, gosh, is it that time already? So, uh, about leaving on. I was thinking oh, about my Christmas. Yes, maybe. I just need to solve this instability issue. I love to think about leaving the Olympic Peninsula like this. Yeah, there's always more to do. I know. I'm sorry. And I love you for it. I'm just wondering if you'll really be able to walk away from all this. It's okay if you can't. You abandoned the world to work here beside me. Fair is fair. Then tech is a world-changing discovery. Your world-changing discovery. Fairness isn't even a consideration. We agreed to have children. And I'm not having them in this hellhole. Good. Because I'd love to have eight. <laughs> then I hope you're ready to carry at least half of those yourself. I love you. I love you. No. We're hearing the past. Fuller of levitation. I'm adding it in the, the Dan Jones Dragons, the Manila folder of levitation. Coming soon. I was probably supposed to be moving during that entire dialogue, but I was just so caught up in the moment. I wanted to just listen. Because we haven't gotten to hear Alan speak before. Evacuation orders. Evacuation orders can go to hell. We leave and we never see the inside of these walls again. All the things we've been investigating, the ripple, the echoes from the swamp, they'll all fade away. I'm gonna stay and chase down these stories, wherever they take me. Tobias, I... Stay here. With me. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking now that first bit of dialogue wasn't them reacting to me being where I am right now, but maybe the first instinct or the, the first mass hallucination. You here to quote? I'm here to deliver the committee's decision. You have been found guilty of doctoring experimental data. This action is in clear violation of artist scientific integrity. Judgment has been rendered. You may stay in work, but your clearance will be lowered to level three. So I'm to be a glorified flash cleaner. Take it as a win. You could have been court-martialed instead. Yeah. I'm sure you would have liked that much better. What I like has no bearing on this decision. See you on Monday, Dr. Cook. Think of all the stuff we could scrap with all these TVs. Driver, driver, do you read me? Driver, you passed through some sort of opening. We, we managed to hold it steady, but the energy explosion is growing. We don't have much longer. If you can hear this, you need to get back now. Sorry, I'm walking through TVs. The gang's back together. Tobias? I, um... 
I never told you how grateful I was that you stayed behind in the zone with me. These years, <laughs> best of my life. Foraging for mushrooms, slogging through swamplands, combing through hours and hours of terrible field recordings. Not a single moment wasted. Thank you. For everything. It was all you. You made me feel capable. That anything was possible. That I wasn't some second-rate scientist. All my happiness was thanks to you. And I'm afraid... I'm afraid of how I'll survive without you. I'm not. You got this. You always have. Hey, Oppie. Alan sends his regards. And he wants to know why you haven't taken his advice yet. <laughs> Is that a gun baru on your dash? No, oh, I'll be damned. Bye. Until next time. Tobias? Tobias! Driver, if you could hear this, we can't keep the well stable for much longer. Wherever you are, come back. Just exploring these TVs. really making me walk a lot. Wonder if dialogue was cut. I'm also curious if maybe if you found like every log or something, there's more dialogue there. Just a little longer. Hold steady, Francis. Keep those limb faces alive. Point zero zero one deviation. You get me? I'm trying. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, we're drifting, Jack. We're drifting. Anything we can do to stabilize things on your side. Punching it as hard as I can. Could we not with the bunnies? God, these tires suck. Francis, 
I'm trying, but I have terrible handling with these tires. You made it back, driver. All in one piece, it looks like. And no sign of the Remnant's energy signature anywhere in that car. You're free. But the car's maintained its link to you. Fascinating. We'll never know how far the Remnant's obsessions wormed into your head. But you should be safe from it getting any worse. In theory. Oh, Ollie, it's fragile. I'm sorry. You didn't get to talk to Alan again. We managed to pull off the near impossible. And the first thing you do is apologize? Sorry, I, I mean, uh, uh, Don't worry, it was Tobias's fault. He hogged the frequency all for himself yet again. You heard him too. I did. That means I didn't imagine that last conversation with Alan. And you know what else? What? That your theory was right. And Tobias called it. All that bluster, and he ended up showing us scientists a thing or two. Those moments we heard, they were all from the past. Being inside that well somehow allowed the remnant to access those imprints and replay them. But Tobias's voice wasn't from the past, it was from somewhere else entirely. But where? And how? No clue. Do me a favor. Once you figure it out, don't bother telling me. <clears throat> I'm leaving the zone. I I'm sorry, what? Alan came to tell me goodbye, and that I was forgiven 37 years ago. <laughs> I didn't listen. So now, finally, I'm going to take his advice. I should have left the zone a long time ago. But if we solve this, maybe there's a way to speak to him again. I heard what I needed to hear. It only took me 37 years to listen. <laughs> anyway, all that sounds like a young scientist game. It's not for me anymore. Francis, you decide what to do from here. You can carry the torch and continue the research, or get out of this cursed place and find your own way. It's your decision. And driver, you're free now. You can do what you want from here. But if you'll allow an old woman one last hope, stay here with Francis. There's so many more stories for the Zone to tell. And the both of you are young enough to listen. My ears are bad. And I refuse to hear them. I've removed all access restrictions to my systems, Francis. The hell is yours. Wait, I... I don't know if I can do this alone. You're not alone. You've got clear eyes, ears open to the impossible, and the driver. Dr. Cook? Driver? It's been a pleasure. This is Dr. Ophelia Turner. Signing off. Abby? Uh, Abby! Really? Well, I, um... Uh, driver, if you don't mind sticking around with me, Oppie was right. There's still so much of the zone that we still don't know about. But with your help, we can tell those stories. I, I'm no Oppie. But I'll do the best I can. You're no longer bound to the car. But it stayed with you, and will continue to protect you as you travel the zone. Go on, then. As long as you're willing to drive. I'm along for the ride. Well. That was it. like on one on one end i like that it's basically like hey we we did what we solved you're no longer linked to the car you won't go insane you can leave the quarantine zone as whenever you want you know um so you can keep doing runs but at the same time it kind of was a little anticlimactic like that little ending segment was pretty cool i, I liked the i liked the whole hearing the past and stuff i think if maybe they did like a cutscene of 
maybe just driving down a road while that played and then lead into credits versus just like, oh, I'm I'm going about preparing for the next road or the, the next trip. And then it just kind of rolled credits while I was in the middle of doing stuff. But yeah, so weird. So like it was very interesting. I I'd I'd love to see like some of the stuff that they had planned and maybe couldn't get working or or weren't sure how to implement or something like that. Kind of feels like an end you get for not completing everything. Well, there sure isn't any like, hey, do this. <laughs> There's basically only one quest marker in the game, and it's do the quests. Yeah, it, like it could there could be a better ending, quote unquote, if maybe you find all of the, the journal logs. But because it's a roguelike and every route is random. Like, in theory, you could never get it like, you know. It, yeah, it was it was very, very unique, very unique, very memorable. And honestly, honestly, it is a lot of fun to play. Like it is the, the the driving and going out and crafting and scrapping. That does feel really good. I just think I just wish there was more to it. Because I, I enjoyed that aspect of it a lot. This this I wouldn't say this is like a Dave the Diver situation like this. This this was like, here's what we're good at and we're going to do it. And that's it. And I think I, I should be like, hey, you know, that's more of what I want to see because in the Day of the Diver example, it was like, hey, here's a really strong opening of what the game is. And then we abandoned all that and I hated it. Hooker on, it seems like they want you to do one more run even after then. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's supposed to be, you know, a roguelike where you're like, I'm doing different runs, gathering different stuff, checking out different paths and stuff. So like, I think that's the whole appeal of the game is like, oh, I'm just going to do another run. So I think it's I think it's a good way it ended that way so you can just kind of continue from there on out. Roomba? Oh, they named their dog Roomba. Lord Bunny Gilgamesh. That's a bunny name. Minda the Crime Cat. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed. I wasn't expecting that run to be the end. <laughs> I was expecting this to be a little longer. The music picks were delightful. Oh yeah, great music. Fantastic music. Music and visuals solid throughout the whole game. And there's me. Time for Bellatro now. I honestly I, I'm honestly feeling pretty satisfied with Bellatro, like like, I, I did what I wanted to. I would like to make an infinite deck in Bellatro, but I kind of did, like, the big hurdle of what I wanted at the moment. So I was pretty satisfied with that. I do want to see...
You know, I kind of think if you did uh, this... look a little better uh Kayo star yo thank you for the raid we just finished pacific drive here we just we just got credit what is uh um we're and i'm probably probably gonna switch to something because uh I did enjoy this, but knowing there's not, like, any story really to uncover. Um. I don't know. I might, I might do, a, like, a revisit of this game down the road. I think, I think it would be fun to see if, uh, maybe they add stuff to it. Or add, like, a DLC, maybe. That'd be pretty swell. You've been making progress in your Elden Rung p playthrough. And you're ready for Melania. Hell yeah. Best of luck. Best of luck. All right, let's, uh... It was a short and sweet wrap-up of that game. What do we want to do? 